This story is called The Squatter and the Swaggy, written by Cal Richards. Inspiration from Luke 16, 19-23. There was a wealthy squatter simply rolling in the dough. All his ancestors before him had been wealthy so-and-sos. He wore his moleskins and his boots, as made by R.M. Williams. He wore his coat of Harris tweed that made him look like a million. Though his sheep and cattle station was at least 10,000 acres, he hated feeding swaggies, called them lazy, lousy fakers. Lying at his homestead gate was a sticky, sickly, older swaggy who was looking pale and poorly and quite positively daggy. As he leaned against the gatepost, his swag all torn and tattered, he said, I'm feeling awful crook and old and tired and battered. The swagman named Larry, as he lay there, thought perhaps, if the squatter has a banquet, then at least I'll get the scraps. And the sickly swaggy lay there, he spent his time in prayer, but Sir William Wealthy Squatter didn't pray, he didn't care. The station dogs came sniffing around, the swaggy counted seven, and then he fell asleep and woke to find himself in heaven. Meanwhile, the wealthy squatter ate his foods all fat and fried until his arteries closed up and the squatter also died. The squatter had a funeral that was positively flash. The VIPs all came along to show respect for all that cash. But the squatter found himself in outer darkness, feeling needy. I hate this place, he sadly said. It's hot as Cooper Pedy. And then he glimpsed the swaggy in a place that looked real nice. Oi, yelled out the squatter. You there in paradise. I'm here frying in the darkness. Well, I guess you've got it made. Can you send me down a little help? Say a nice, cool lemonade. There's a chasm fixed between us, were the words of the reply. You should have prayed before you died. Now's too late. Don't even try. Please listen, said the squatter. To one last request I'll make. Could Larry Swaggy please go back and warn my folks for goodness sake? I hope you see five brothers at the home said they are gathered. They mustn't end where, up where I am. That's what really matters. The reply that came from heaven said, Your brothers have the Bible. That's the book in which God speaks. It's both truthful and reliable. No, no, called out the squatter from his place of dark despair. They'll all ignore the Bible. They won't think to find truth there. But if someone from the dead comes back, then they'll know the score. The sad reply from heaven said, they won't listen anymore. Their hearts are hard, their minds are fixed on selfish insurrection. And they ignore the evidence of historic resurrection. Well, let's reflect on that story today. Let's be mindful that uh, we are to share the, the word of God with rich and poor. And I pray that you have a great day today.